Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Chris, I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. We are full-time resellers. And today we have another What's Old video for you. Um, this is for the weekend. It is actually Sunday night, about quarter to six right now. And we've had quite a few sales. So we're gonna go ahead and get a head start on our shipping. That's going out on Monday morning. But we're gonna follow Kathy around and see what's sold for us. You ready? Hey guys, so we'll start with eBay today. How about tea? These are just some kids' choco sandals. They sold for $25.76 plus shipping. I only have about $4 and some change into those. Um, box AM. This one, I'm just glad it sold because so it's a soft surroundings dress, which I never find this brand, so I was super excited to find it. I just grabbed it. It honestly looks like almost new without tag, like it didn't look washed or no pilling or anything like that. So I didn't really look it over that well. And when I got it home, it was too late to return it by the time I photographed it and it had a couple holes in it. So I still listed it because I had paid $8 for it. So I at least needed to get that back. Um, and it ended up selling for 20 plus ship. So still made a few bucks and got my $8 back. So happy with that. Uh, box AX. So if you've been following along, uh, we've been pulling five items from the closet every day the stuff I don't want to list or that's flawed or whatnot. So this one just got listed a couple days ago and already sold. Um, I did list it low because of the flaws that basically the whole backside of this has little black dots, like mm -hmm. just like all specs. the yeah. way throughout. So anyways, um, I would sold this brand before and it sold really fast and for a good amount. So I picked it up and I did pay $8 for this as well. Uh, but it sold for twenty five seventy six plus shipping, so not huge money. It definitely could have sold for more without those flaws. Like some of these go for over a hundred. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and the brand is Holy Bar. It looks like it was made in Boulder, Colorado. So yeah, that might be why I sold. Found more than one piece here, but yeah. it's funny they both went to New Jersey. I remember the other one hmm. went to New Jersey as well. So I think that was funny. Because it's not like a very common brand at all. It's I'm pretty sure it's vintage and like hasn't been made in over in the 2000s at all. Right. Sure. All right. So BR. Right, so these flip flops. The brand is I'm not sure how you say it. I think it's Cobian or Cobian. I don't know. Um, I got these as a online arbitrage item. I have nine dollars into them and they sold for thirty dollars six cents free shipping they're gonna go in a pad of flat rate so shipping will be 776 with online arbitrage and like retail arbitrage uh, if I could double my money that's more than enough for me which I will after all the shipping and fees on those so even though I paid nine I knew that I could at least double my money so happy with that so AU it's kind of like a trade-off for saving yourself from actually going out to source that. What is this? Oh, the Hurley. Let's see. There you are. Uh, so you guys have seen me sell several of these. This is the last one. It's a little Hurley one piece rash guard for a baby and it sold for $15.44 plus shipping, and I bought that for about $3 and some change. So, happy with that. All right, and then box U. Right behind you. Uh, this is just an H&M puffer vest. So H&M, it doesn't retail for a ton. I don't pick up a ton of it unless it's like Disney, if it's like super cheap and like Disney or like a more substantial piece like this. Uh, this was only two dollars at Goodwill, so I picked it up and sold it for twelve eighty two plus shipping. All right, box Z. All right, so you guys heard me mention this brand recently. It's Ufos. Remember that logo there? Um, I don't know if you saw, saw that. <laughs> but, uh, I actually paid up for these on ThreadUp. I paid thirteen ninety nine for them, mostly because I was trying to get my money back, and I knew that these are always a fast sale, so I was okay paying that. So I did sell them for thirty four thirty six free shipping. They're super light. They're only like seven ounces, so I think they'll only be like three fifty to ship out. Um, 
at the very most 450 and yeah so still making some money off those and getting my 13.99 back all right my stickies are a little bit crazy uh, bm what do we have here Sorrel boots I found recently, um, and they sold for twenty-five seventy-six plus shipping. I have seven dollars into them, and they are just going to Colorado, so they'll actually be cheaper to put in a box nice. instead of a padded flat rate. Love it when that happens. Yeah. So let me make sure I got all the ones from the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Okay. And then we had two more eBay sales. Uh, box H, dwarf, so, I just like write random words <laughs> to remind <laughs> me like, on this one I wrote dwarfs. <laughs> so these are some Hannah Anderson little Snow White dwarf pajamas. Uh, these were my son's. I think I bought them for 25 off someone on the buy sell trade page. And both my kids have worn them and they sold for $20 plus shipping in use condition. So made most of my money back there. And then last uh, eBay sale is just a very small sale, but I'll take it. As Becky Park would say, this is French fry money or <laughs> McDonald's $1 drink money. Um, so this is just a little LSU beanie. I got it from the bins for my stimulus check challenge. So when I go to the bins, I usually divide everything up by my total, but like things like this that weigh like z less than an ounce, I don't even, like I type this into my spreadsheet as zero, so. I have zero dollars into this, even though I got it from my stimulus check challenge bin stuff, and it sold, I did not write down how much it sold, pretty sure it was $6.95 free ship, so shipping is like $3.30 or so, I think I made like $2.50 off of it, so Big definitely going to get some french fries. <laughs> is that even french fry money nowadays? <laughs> $2? Yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> All right, and then we have two kids in sale so far. Um, first up is this Tigger. This is also from the Ben Stimulus Check Challenge. Now, this guy's big, so he was over a pound, so I had to list him kind of high. I listed him for 25 uh, free ship, and that's what he sold for. So, uh, kid is in shipping is going to cost me $9 to ship out because the only cheaper option is a pad of flat rate, and he's not fitting in there. So, yeah. $9. We'll put him in a big poly, maybe even a box because it can be up to five pounds. So, yeah. But he's going on his way. The other items actually has not got put away yet. It's probably, it's something I pulled out here. All right, so this is just the brand Tiny Whales. It's just a cool tie-dye shirt, says Stay Rad. Uh, that was my son's, I got it off Kittizen for 10 and I sold it on Kittizen after he wore it for 18 free ships. So I made my whole $10 plus a couple extra bucks back. All right, we had a few Poshmark sales. So box CU. All right, so next up, uh, these are some Nike shoes. These were actually my personal Nike shoes. Um, I got them off Poshmark a while back for, I had like $19 and some change into them. Um, I bought them with another pair of boots. And then I wore them a few times, but I just don't, like Chris always says, I have like two pairs of shoes that I wear <laughs> and these were not one of them. So I listed them, I think I listed them for 50 just to, See what offers I'd get. I did not get any offers, but I sent an offer to Watchers of 35 with discounted shipping and someone accepted. So I make back 25.54, so like an extra five bucks more than I paid. And I wore them a few times, so that's always awesome. Okay, box L. I wish that. <laughs> <laughs> So this is just the Honest Company, like the diapers, um, like a Halloween tote. Mm. This was like a free with purchase thing. Uh, we used to order all their diapers. I had this like in a bin in our closet and I found it and I never used it. So I went ahead and sold it for, well, I just listed it for 10. Someone bought it full price. So I make 705 <laughs> for a free gift. That's how Good it's done. <laughs> CJ. Uh, swimming season is definitely upon us. I've been selling a lot of swim stuff lately. Uh, you guys saw me sell the other pair I had of these recently, uh, but these ones sold on Posh for 
$35 with discounted shipping. It's the brand Southern Tide. Uh, similar to like Vineyard Vines and stuff like that. I got those for $8. I don't remember if it was Marshalls or TJ Maxx, but <laughs> one of those two. I'm pretty sure it was Marshalls. And yeah, so $35 with discount shipping. I make $25 off of that. And then box P, another item that I pulled from the closet from my five items a day. Hey, it's working. It is. I knew that this stuff would sell. It's just <laughs> I don't like lifting it. <laughs> so this is just an affliction shirt. I got it at the bins a very long time ago, but it had, I mean, these are already distressed, like ripped necks and stuff like that, but it had more stains on it and like, I think a hole in it. So finally listed it, described all those flaws and got 12 whole dollars for it. <laughs> uh, that was an offer someone sent me in just like a day of it being listed, but since I took so long to list it and I just don't want to see it ever again. I accept it. So I would say I had no more than a buck into it from the bin. So happy enough with that. And then box AP. Oh, back this way. Uh, this is the brand Riley and Crew. So this was my son's sweatshirt. Pretty sure I bought it retail. So probably 48 or 50 bucks. And it ended up selling on Posh for 35. That was an offer someone sent me and I accepted because at this point I like to make my money back on our kids' stuff as fast as I can. So you can buy more stuff well, for them. Yeah, right? but <laughs> <laughs> right now so many of you guys have joined our kids in with our code. So thank you yeah. everyone who's done that. Um, I'm not sure if y'all know how that works, but when you join with my code, you get five dollars to spend. I also get I don't think I get five bucks. I think I get like a percentage of like whatever you buy with your five dollars. So mm. it's been adding up. So I've been able to buy my kids new stuff because you can only spend the credits in the app, which mm -hmm. is perfectly fine for me because I love to buy kids clothes. So <laughs> uh, yeah, I buy, I've been buying. I don't think I've spent a dollar of my own like money in a while. So yeah, so happy with that. Thank you for supporting the channel by uh, using our links and all that. It really does yeah. go a long way, way more than you can imagine so we appreciate it all right so poshmark that was no one more no that was it for poshmark so the rest <laughs> is mercari my chicken scratch is hard to read so cr sold another pair of swim chunks uh, so these ones these are like my favorite ones that i picked up i picked up so many of them and these were brought priced down all the way to six bucks so uh, these this pair sold for twenty three dollars plus shipping. That was an offer someone just sent me. I actually just promoted these on Mercari this morning, so promoting means that you're dropping the price five percent, but it puts it back at the top of the feed. So someone must have saw them from me doing that and then offered me even less, which I knew would happen. But I'm still happy with the price. So <laughs> six and two, I make about twenty after the Mercari fee, so about a fourteen dollar profit. Most of the other ones have been selling off at like thirty or 30 plus ship so those were a really good pickup all right dg all right, this is an item from the stimulus check challenge so just a uh, kids adidas soccer jersey and it's sold for ten dollars plus ship so not huge but i only had about a dollar into it and then aj another item from the stimulus check challenge which we still are planning yes. on making a trip up to Denver. <laughs> Every just... time I'm like, okay, I can go today. And then it's like, oh, it's a snowstorm. So yeah, I don't like driving in the snow. So I don't like her driving in the snow either. Yeah, definitely not all the way to Denver. Because she'll get stuck and I'll have to go get her. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh, so these are just the Skechers Twinkle Toes. I guess they light up. So they were in really good shape and they sold for $12 plus ship. They were over a pound so the buyer had to pay a $7.99 for shipping so they probably would have sold like most kids shoes are first class shipping so I probably could have got a little more if it wasn't that high shipping cost but still about a dollar into 12 plus ship. Alright and then AR some Merrill boots. This way. these guys I have ten dollars into from Goodwill and they sold for forty dollars plus shipping uh, someone on Mercari actually asked if I would take 40 and I've mentioned in the past when somebody does that and I'm willing to accept it 
I send out the offer to all the likers and not just the person who asked. So the person who asked is not the person who bought them. Somebody else accepted the offer, but not like right away either. The, right. the person who asked had at least three hours, I think, mm -hmm. and she just didn't buy them. So somebody else did, and I'm happy with that. So. And we kind of do that as a way to kind of add a little pressure, add yeah. a little fire under them to, if they're on their messaging <laughs> asking for a discount and you send it right away, they should, in theory, still be on the app and or at least in a yeah, place where like they can finish I the deal. Send it right away after she asked. So, so they I missed know, out. Some people, I don't know why they do it. It happens all the time <laughs> that people ask and I send the offer and nobody buys it. So yeah. it is what it is. All right, and this next sale is a three item bundle to a viewer, Kendra, who I'm positive has bought from us before. And I think she told me that she used to live in Colorado. So she bought a Broncos hat. This one, I found this past summer. I really like it. It has a cool camo brim. Yeah. Just a fitted hat. And so I got it at a garage sale for a book. And then the second item is actually, I think, in this white bag. This just wouldn't fit really good in any of our boxes. So uh, this was just the Fantasia Mickey. Oh. So a cute little plush. That is a cool one. Yeah, I really liked it. And then the last item was Adidas, so let's see. Look at all the space it cleared up up there too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're gonna, so you guys see that we got these new calendar things we're gonna be working on, but we also wanna like get some shelves for these mugs. I'd like to source more mugs. I just like selling them. They don't sell yeah. for a ton, but they're so easy to like fill your shops with. And they're like a buck at the thrift stores usually, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe a couple shelves or two. So whenever I sell one, I can buy a new one. Yeah. We, I don't want to have like a hundred, but just enough to kind of decorate. We were originally thinking kind of right where this calendar is. So the calendar and this board, you know, maybe not permanent yet. We just haven't, we just put them up to see how it feels. Yeah. But um, we do want to get those mugs on a Somewhere wall. Just and have more space for us. Easier to find them and they're not clinking together when we're looking for one. And shoes are like the main thing I'm gonna be sourcing from here on yeah. out. And boots is a big thing that we sell and they're hard to fit in the boxes. Yeah. So. All right, and then Kendra also got these Adidas for her daughter. Um, so this was funny because, yeah, these, when I bought them, these are sized as men's. Hmm. So like the tag size is a six and a half, which is, um, I could tell by the Euro and the UK sizing and everything that it was a men's six and a half. And I was like, I don't think these are going to sell in the men's section just because of the colors. I right. mean, I did list them second. Like, um, I, I did two listings, a men's and a woman's. I converted the size based on the Adidas size chart. And I also put the Adidas size chart in there with it. So these are actually a women's seven and a half, which to me doesn't make sense because most brands are like one and a half to two sizes above. But on the Adidas, the seven and a half women match the six and a half men. So... I don't know. So I explained, like, I asked her if she saw that, and she said it's okay because her daughter's going to grow into them if they're a little too big right now. So. Okay. Yeah, so she bought these three items, and we decided on $35 plus shipping. So the shipping was 10 and, yeah, we had to do, because it was almost three pounds without being boxed up, so we had to do the U.S., not USPS, UPS, the nine ninety nine through Mercari, so... Yeah, Kendra, thank you so much. Uh, she also messaged me, I guess, on Instagram a while back, but I'm so, so, so yeah. behind. Like, I don't think I'll ever catch up on messaging people back over there. So if you message me, I'm not ignoring you. I just <laughs> <laughs> really busy right now with all the JBF, and we're trying to, like, revamp everything we're doing. So yeah. anyway, she uh, wanted one of the hats I showed from my Ben Stimulus Check Challenge hauls. And I know I tagged that hat for JBF, and me and Chris took a bunch of bins out to the trailer today where we store it all. And I checked the ones before we took them out, and also the ones that I had already put in there, and I just don't see it anywhere. Yeah. So if I find it, I will definitely get back with you, Kendra. But yeah. thank you so much for reaching out. Yeah, we appreciate you, Kendra. Purchase. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, so yeah, that was it. I did hear a sound, but I think, I don't know Probably if it was a, a payment or a message. Let's see. Uh, that was a payment, so that's actually right. another sale to a viewer, which is Mar I think it's Marcella. Marcella, yeah. So she bought from us recently as well. So let me find out where these shoes are. 
Sam Edelman's. Alright, so they unbox Y. these were some really pretty Sam Edelman embroidered floral flats. I just thought they were so pretty I could not leave them. Yeah. And Marcella picked those up for $20 plus shipping. So Marcella, thank you again for your support. Yes, thank you so much, Marcella. All right. That's Is that it, it for right That's now? That's it for right now, yeah. I'm gonna... All right. Chris leaves me on Monday morning for a few <laughs> hours to take our youngest to school. So I'll either... I already printed all the labels, but I'll package them up either tonight, late after the kids go to bed, or tomorrow morning. So, Yeah, you guys have heard us say before that Mondays are our busiest day of the week, just because it's big shipping day, and both of our kids go to school on Mondays, but they go to different schools, so we're driving around town. And they go to in and out of school at different times. I think Sai goes for three hours, so at that time... I usually just kind of park because it's more in the center of town and I just kind of park and work on YouTube videos out of my truck. So um, yeah, that's going to do it. I think we'll continue um, our What's Sold for Monday morning right after this. So we'll see you guys in a, in a bit. <laughs> hey guys, it is Monday afternoon. Um, we're back at it for our weekend sales. Kathy had already taken the ones that we packed up last night to the post office this morning as she took Connor to school. And we're here to pick the rest of what's sold for us this morning, or the rest of what's sold for us today. All right, so box A here. All right, so this actually sold to a viewer named Stephanie. She said her and her daughter watch us and I don't have my phone, so I don't remember exactly what she said, but <laughs> she said that um, they get a lot of laughs from watching us. And uh, we're help them out a lot. So awesome. uh, this is a Columbia fleece. She bought it on Kitizen for $19.95 free ship. Um, I believe I got this at Salvation Army for $2.50. And then it cost me $3.85 to ship out to Kitizen. Thank you for the support, Stephanie yeah. and Stephanie's daughter. And that $3.85 is going to be more in a couple weeks. We got that notice today from Kitizen. Mm -hmm. Their prices are going up. Mercari's went up today everyone's i mean Shipping. it happens every year so yeah. it's like not a surprise but it's always like disappointing especially with the kids stuff because like i mean at some point it's just like not even worth it because mm -hmm. yeah like it's six dollars and 15 cents for a one pound label now it's just nuts yep all right so box h right in the middle They're just some women's towel sandals. Um, these I've had for a while, mostly because it took me forever to list them. They haven't been listed terribly long, but I wasn't excited about them. So I had a watcher on them, and I sent them an offer of 20 plus shipping. I bought them for $5.99, so I'm happy enough with that. Uh, they'll ship out in a padded flat rate. And then I sold some Crocs in box CS. It's a little messy in here today. Lots of work going on. Not messy. Well, <laughs> messier than that. <laughs> uh, so these are the Crocs with the. I don't even know if you'd call these gibbets because I mean I guess you would, but they're like not the oh, plastic they're like metal, ones. Huh? Are, yeah, or like a hard plastic. But. Um, I had a watch on these this morning. I sent them an offer of twenty plus shipping, mostly because I keep getting like a whole bunch of likers on these on Posh and like everywhere else, and nobody's accepting my offer. So I just wanted to move them. <laughs> So yeah, $20 plus ship. These were from my 65 pair day, so I have about $4 and some change into them. And so it is actually March 1st right now. So these are the first, technically the first sales of Yeah, a few March. of them came in like late last night after we did the first part of the video, yeah. so. So half of these, well not half, but yeah. some of these are from March, some of these are from February. Just happens to be right in the middle of this What's Old video that yep. that transitioned. <laughs> So these bogs just sold this morning. Um, I bought these at Once Upon a Child for 12 and I sold them for $25.76 plus ship. I don't think I actually paid 12. I think they were priced at 12 and I had a coupon, so probably paid closer to 10 or 11. Uh, but yeah, $25.76 plus ship, so not great, but they had like some wear on them, which I showed and everything, but I'm glad to move out some more boots. 
All right, this was a great sale. If you follow me on Instagram, you already saw it. Where'd you put it? <laughs> One of, oh. I was just measuring clothes on this table yeah. in this pile here, which maybe some of you guys recognize that. I don't know. Um, so this is a shirt that we pulled from our closet the other day when we were picking out five items a day to list. I've had this since last summer. I paid a dollar for it at a garage sale. Um, it mostly was in the closet because I knew it was worth a good amount, but I did not know how much that good amount was. And I just, every time I tried to look up comps, I, I couldn't find anything exactly the same. And mostly because people that sell vintage sell it like to each other through mm -hmm. Instagram and everything. And I don't, I'm not really into We're it. We're not so. part of the club. <laughs> no. Um, so yeah, I didn't really know how to even search up comps, but last night I finally found an exact one on Mercari. That one sold over six months ago for 125. It was in worse condition. It had like a whole a bunch of cracking on the graphic and everything. So I priced mine a lot higher thinking, oh, well, we'll just take an offer. <laughs> so I priced mine at 195 and I got an offer within like five minutes of 150. So I knew that I probably was way underselling it, but I only paid a dollar for it. So <laughs> somebody's offering me $150. Yeah. Even though I know it's probably worth more because of the, whenever you get a quick offer like that or a, like a instant sale, you know that you underpriced right. it. Right. But I really don't care. <laughs> like I made after Poshmark fee 120, so 119 dollar profit. Yeah. In five minutes, I didn't even put the measurements in or anything yet, so I'm really happy with that. But a friend Drew, he is I think Profit Monsters on YouTube. Yeah. Drew thrifts and flips on Instagram. He wrote on my post that it's selling through Instagram, if you're into all that, uh, for like 300 So definitely underpriced, but I'm not really that much. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you really have to know that right. stuff to even be able to do it. Like most people were shocked that I even got $150. It's just a t-shirt, you know, like you could just go make that t-shirt at the <laughs> mall again. So anyways, be on the lookout for that liquid blue tag. I've yeah. learned that from Rally Roots. Um, watching different people do different stuff and so we're yeah we are not experienced at all in the in the vintage tea market so no. for us to be able to get that much money out of it and then we can reinvest that in what we do know you know with kathy and her shoes or whatever that's way acceptable for, we're really happy with that yeah so. and like that person's probably going to sell it on yeah. for the 300 or even more and that's cool like the reseller of me is like thinks it's cool like how many people can profit off of a single item yeah and, the person I bought it at a garage sale from got a dollar for it, so <laughs> yeah. So um. just think about, I, just think about it. Like she wasn't sure how much to price it for, and it sat in our closet for six months <laughs> because we're just not in that market, right? So that was literally the only reason I was there. <laughs> right, and you know, yeah, we pro we probably could have sold it for three hundred if we knew what we were doing with you know vintage tees, but it's just not really a market that. You know, we're that experienced in yet, maybe in the future. Um, I just don't know how much experience we'll get. It's not, you know, we're not in the Instagram game with, um, you know, when, we, when we're laying in bed at night, we're not looking at vintage tees, right? So it's just, we scored high for us, I think. So I'm very happy with that. All right. And I did have a, a goal this year to at least sell a vintage tea for over 100. So there you go. Goal complete. <laughs> um, and then this also came from us pulling some stuff out of the death pile closet. And these are just two men's life is good shirts. They were both size 3X. They weren't in the best shape. So I decided to lot them up instead of listing them individually. I listed them last night as well. Same time as that shirt. Um, I listed them for 30 expecting to get an offer of like 20 and mm -hmm. I would have accepted that, but they just sold full price in the night for 30 And again, I didn't even put measurements in because I was going to do that all today when I woke up. So Don't like hold off on listing just because <laughs> you're like, oh, I don't have the measurements and stuff yet. Because stuff sells all the time before you ever add that. Yeah. And that's but one if thing you you've don't been, add it, people are going to ask. So. That's one thing you've been doing lately, right? Is getting things listed. Yeah. Like, and then we go back and add the measurements and then we cross post after that. Not because that's how I want to do it, but that's just how our it's life just what works, works right now. Yeah. All right. So that was two Poshmark sales and then CE Crocs. I did not put this sticky note in any sort of order, so I'm <laughs> trying to remember what everything was. These Crocs were also from my 65 pair day. 
be sold on Mercari um, for the list price of $18 plus shipping. Sold on eBay, box DB. I sold the other one just last week, and then I had two of these from my stimulus check bins haul. Just a champion tank top, new with tag, and it sold for $14.95 plus shipping. So I only have about a buck into it. Alright, and then box G. So this person on eBay asked if I would take. 20 I think they were listed at like 25 something and that was with the sale that I had going but because they were snow boots I only have three dollars into them they only weigh 10 ounces so shipping was only four dollars and 20 cents I went ahead and accepted her $20 offer so I'll at least profit like 10 11 bucks off those they're just some little Merrill snow boots mm -hmm. so I think I definitely could have got the 25 closer to even 30 if I waited it out but the closer we get to the end of winter, <laughs> the more gambling you're doing with keeping those for another year. So yeah. might as well get the money out when you can. And these guys, very happy to say they sold. Yeah. These are heavy. So I'm glad they sold on Mercari because on Mercari they have a whole bunch of different labels. These are like seven pounds before being put in a box, but they have a UPS label that's $13. And I charge that to the buyer, but uh, that covers up to 10 pounds. So, yeah, um, I listed, I don't remember what they were listed at, maybe like 59 or something plus ship. Someone offered me 45 and I accepted. I had paid $15 for them just because I heard a lot of people saying rollerblades were good sellers. Um, there's, there's lots of comps that are anywhere from like 20 bucks to like 100. You know, it just mm -hmm. really depends on the brand and stuff, I think, so. These were just rollerblade brand, not in perfect They're condition. They're in good shape. Yeah, I mean, usually you get a lot of like shape, scuffs and scratches, so. Yeah, so. Lightly used, maybe. I'm happy that they sold though. So. Yeah. And then, last sale is a five item bundle from Kitizen. I don't know if this says A O or A D. <laughs> so let's see. <laughs> So this is just a genuine kids uh, long sleeve shirt. And box BV. Okay, so that's a Cat and Jack sweatshirt. We're just gonna walk back and forth because it's <laughs> B. Get our steps in for the day. Right, this is the brand Hazel Blue, which they no longer exist, but they were a um, just a little small shop. You can tell how long I've had these because oh, we used to write a letter and a number and we only did that for like a week and then we're like, we don't need the number because yeah. our boxes are so small, so. I don't even know if we did that for a week. I think we did it through <laughs> like, like box longer. maybe F. <laughs> right. All right, and the box of G. The reason we we stopped doing the numbers is because you see how fast it is for us to find something in a specific box. That time is less time than it took to write down the numbers right. on and stick them. So, you know, we just were like, hey, there's no point in that. So uh, these are just like a small shop. I bought these off Kitizen, and then box B I down here. This is just a Carter's, like a camo Sherpa vest. So yeah, those were the five items. Um, I have a 20% off sale on my kid is in shop right now. So this buyer just bought it out right at that price, which ended up being $74.24 for the five items. Um, my spreadsheet told me that I had paid $68.03 for all the items though, because these were, other than the Carter's vest, these were all my kids' things. And so after the shipping fee and kid is in fee and shipping, I make back $56.91. So, only lost about $11 over five items that my kids wore, so I'm not mad about that. But yeah, that's everything today. 
All right, so yeah, I think this video might actually be longer than we are usually putting out, so I'm just gonna make it quick. And thank you so much for watching, everybody. We're gonna go ahead and get this stuff off to the post office, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.